welcome back to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. There are about 70 million psychopaths on this planet because they make up 1% of the world's population. Now I don't want to make you panic thinking that there's murderers everywhere because psychopathic tendencies don't necessarily mean murderous ones. Psychopaths are people who don't feel empathy or care for others. They are often selfish and manipulative. And although they can commit offences, with over a quarter of male inmates in prisons being psychopaths, they won't necessarily hurt you. A lot of people who are high up in their careers, especially careers that are high risk like business, tend to be psychopaths. That's because they've got a complete disregard for other people's emotions. Neurologically, psychopaths tend to show a decreased activation of the frontal lobe of their brain. This is the part of the brain involved in empathy, personality and calculating consequences. As well as a flippant disregard for other people's emotions, they also show a superficial charm and a self-centred impulsivity. Now these are quite subtle behaviours and can be quite hard to spot, but there are some simple tests that we can do to test how empathetic someone is and therefore how psychopathic they are, and one of them involves yawning. Yawning is contagious in humans. When we see another person yawn, we instinctively want to yawn as well. I can't even listen to a podcast that's talking about yawning without yawning. Oh my god. Oh, that was a big one. I wonder how many of you yawned because I was yawning and talking about yawning. Contagious yawning is thought to be linked to social bonding and empathy, and a recent study has found that psychopaths are less likely to copy you if you yawn. Dysfunction of the frontal lobe is not only just linked to a lack of empathy or a disregard for emotions, it's also linked to an altered sense of smell. Research has found that people who tend to be more callous, manipulative and have tendencies for criminal activities tend to have a poor sense of smell. We can also analyse speech patterns to see how likely it is that someone is a psychopath. Scientists asked murderers to describe their crime in detail. Now some of these murderers were psychopaths and some of them weren't, and they found distinct differences in the speech patterns depending on whether they were psychopaths or not. Psychopaths were significantly more likely to use conjunction words like because, so that and since, implying that their murder was done to reach a goal. Psychopaths were also twice as likely to use words that are related to physical needs, like sex, food and money, whereas those that weren't psychopaths were more likely to reference things for social needs, like family or religion. So next time you yawn and your friend doesn't yawn back, maybe keep an eye on them. So that's it for this episode of Grey Matter, stay tuned for next time.